Did you know you can advertise on podcasts? Don't act like you're not impressed. Find out more at podvertise.com.au. That's podvertise with an s.com.au. Oh, happy birthday, Amy. (laughs) The best thing about that was Alex's face. (laughs) That was so brilliant. That was amazing. That was amazing. Genuinely amazing. Amy, do you want to explain that your birthday is Halloween? Sure. (laughs) I like to tell my kids, actually, that I'm a witch. And when they were little, I used to tell them that I was a time-travelling witch. And I would go, no, you're not. And I was like, yes, I am. I can only travel forward in time. Uh, One second per second. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it was pretty cool having your birthday and Halloween growing up. Like every year was a costume party. It's a thing with at Flinders University, isn't it? Because there's you who has birthday on Halloween and our wonderful colleague Lisa Bennett's daughter has a birthday on Halloween as well. It's something going on here. Something very spooky. uh, (laughs) Sorry, I cut off your spookiness. (laughs) That sounds wrong. (laughs) Get away from his spookiness, Alex. (laughs) Hands off and keep sharp (laughs) objects well away. (laughs) His spookiness is a very strange name for it. Uh, My my dad. My dad was born on Friday the 13th. Oh. Ah, so is Johnny's brother. There you go. Really? That's another one of those dates everyone's gravitating towards. Ooh. I'm scared. Not really very scary, that sound, really. I was thinking, I've almost got enough outtakes for a whole episode, I reckon. I like oh. that. I wonder if we should aim to do an outtake Christmas or something like that. Because mm. it could be rough yeah, and I maybe like we that. can introduce it, do a little quick introduction and that'll be a, I don't know. Do you remember that time when? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we can do it all without context. Lots of bad claps and jokes about Alex's drinking and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been a few times where Sean says I'm the chocoholic and Alex says I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> You've done it like three times. Yep. <laughs> do you need help, Alex? Is this something we can do? I am. No. Are you I your mean, first to Cameron was even a guy at AA. I mean, are you, is it a cry for help? It was a guy at AA. Yes. Yes, it was. Do you need it us was- to block the Moscato deliveries? <laughs> <laughs> this is Sean's clap. This is Amy's clap. This is Alex's clap. See how it's done? Two hands straight together. <laughs> oh, do you know I went to high five somebody at D and D the other night, and I completely missed their hand. Aww. So we had to do it again, and it was Aww. sort of a half-hearted high five, sort of a half, a high two and a half. And I had to explain to them <laughs> that why I'm so bad at high fiving, and they couldn't believe it either. I wish I'd videotaped it. We could put it up for the listeners. To We've, to We've got to practice this. <laughs> oh, We've got to so- do reenactment like the grassy knoll, just slow motion. Okay. <laughs> Whenever we have guests, we should get them to demonstrate the high five for us. How do you do it? You're like the Eugene elbow, Levy the in um, in uh, in uh, Best in Show, and he can't turn left. Oh, that's you like him. Great. Oh, I love that show. That's the best okay. compliment I have ever received. <laughs> okay, so let's just have a little pause. Notting Hill, take one. <laughs> Notting Hill, take is that okay? And I've started recording now to make sure it's happening. And in the last one, I spent the whole time looking at the numbers going, make sure you're recording. Okay. Well, uh, we we can... can At least I check it now. Like, I checked it five minutes in just to make sure. I didn't make us go 20 minutes or anything. That's right. All that good material. We can recreate. So, (laughs) do we have to do... The magic. The magic. (laughs) Mm, Hi. I'll um, I'll buy you a drink on Friday if you turn up. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. But I may not be there for very long. I'll buy you a drink quickly. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I'm recording now and my numbers are moving. Hey, Amy, how are your numbers? Yeah, I'm at 1.04. It's okay. happening. It's happening? All right, so do we, we do claps again? Yeah. Yes, Stop. we do. So, oh. Sean. <laughs> so defeated. I did it so perfectly the first time. Can yeah. I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Sean did the double. You both did the double thumbs no, up. No, we didn't, Alex. Yeah. We didn't. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you we did. didn't do anything. You're just imagining it. No one can see us, uh, Alex. You're it's both all in your mind. Bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Outtakes with running jokes. That appeals to me.
There's a lot of passive aggressive stuff going on in that fridge. Like oh, in the toilets, did the boys' toilets have this for years? There were like passive aggressive signs in the girls' toilet written in rhyming poetry. Oh, oh. wow. Like oh. what? Wash like your about, hands. No, about know. like flushing and don't put yeah. things down the toilet and but in rhyming and I remember I had a friend of mine came out to do a lecture for me and she came out and she goes, We need to talk about those. Like first of all, they don't actually rhyme. <laughs> and the enjambment is terrible. And <laughs> like you, you're in the literary studies department here. <laughs> We had a thing that, that has now been destroyed, but I, I followed it for years. I loved it. It started um, in the old building that's now the hub. Someone wrote a real left-wing rant about the government, and it went down for most of the door. Like It was all like, John Howard's doing this, and this is happening, blah, blah, blah. And someone else wrote in a different colour. But that's not half as frightening as Skeletor's quest for Eternia. <laughs> and then that just traveled and i like toilets all around campus because the other thing is there's all these like ads for you know if you want cock ring this number and then someone had, had gone that is not wants cock on this, <laughs> <car."> this <guy's laughs> ridiculous and they were everywhere and there were pictures of skeletor there were stickers of skeletor it no, was i don't think... cock in the ladies toilets what is this <laughs> <I'm gypped. laughs> Not even a skeletor. Well, a skeletor wouldn't have a penis, would he? One would have thought. Only isn't when it? he's got a bone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about that is I saw the thought process on Amy's face before she said it, and there was a moment of I'm going to do it. <laughs> do I? Do I not? Yeah, I think I'll do it. It's fine. It's always happening. <laughs> And Dr. Alex Vickery Howe, he of the manly voice and the equally manly clap. Hello. How, how do I follow that up? Alex doesn't have the clap. Sorry, just for the record, doesn't have clap manly or otherwise. <laughs> Despite whatever you may have heard. <laughs> just in, the, in the toilets. It's all taken care of. Graffiti in the toilets. All right. I can't believe we're starting an episode with references to STDs. Like, this is our way in now. This is what we do. Yeah. We may have to start again. <laughs> we're, we're failing at the beginning. We're just getting it out of the way, Alex. It's thematic. So this is an episode on failure. It is, and we're failing. Okay. Well, that's appropriate. That's on theme. It is. We're on theme. So how are we... Who's oh, monster I was about to start oh, again. Start, yes, sorry, stop interrupting. Again. Okay. You're sorry. a terrible oh, guest. Yeah, okay, Alex. Jeez. Alex. God. You're failing at being... Well, actually... Alex isn't a guest. He's co-host. Oh, yeah, you co-host. I failed. That was my failure. No, I'm just, a, I'm just, I'm a long-term guest. I'm a long-term guest. I like to look at it that way. <laughs> he likes to think he can walk off the couch. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we can't afford any more failures in this episode because that is what this episode is about. Uh, we're here to talk about <laughs> failures, creative, professional, personal, linguistic. How much time do you have, Sean? I mean, I mean, we could be here for hours. And it's Friday. We want to drink at some point. <laughs> Um, Alex, no oh. on your desk <laughs> for emphasis. In fact, oh. while I was editing the last batch, I thought, I wonder if there's enough oh, to make a little drum track at the end. Oh, oh man. Garth was really bad. Was that Alex or Garth? No, that was Garth. He had his microphone clipping That's his right. shirt, and I cut it as much as I could. Yeah. Uh, I was willing I... to take the fall and say it was me. <laughs> Uh, uh, besides, and also staying back from this this um, and not being so loud. I'm going to be very calm. He's off in a motorbike at Alex's. It's a Mustang. Oh, it's, my, it's my neighbour Jeff with his freaking Mustang. It's my alarm clock. It's my bane of my existence. Damn you, Jeff. Because you feel it in your bones. It's not just yeah. a sound. It's a roar that shudders through you. Two, and he goes off to work at like 10 to 6 in the morning. Oh, That's yeah. horrible. The I other thought thing, it was a bus, Alex. I thought it was like a, or a rubbish truck or something. It's literally Tell next me. to my bedroom. And the yeah. other thing he does very late at night is watch Law and Order. So you just hear the... Dun, dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> Trying to get to sleep. Uh, okay, I'm going to start the clap. Marissa Hagate and be like, why is that happening? <laughs> why is that happening? Um, you're going to host, Amy? I'll, I'll try and remember to host. <laughs> so I'll, I'll start the clap. This is Alex's clap. This is Amy's clap. And this is Sean's clap. That was strong. Mine was really weak this week. <laughs> This is Amy's clap. This is Alex's clap. This is Sean's clap. Oh, 
that was just like a flamenco. Perfect. <laughs> a flamingo, I thought you were about to say. <laughs> a dodo. <laughs> <laughs> My numbers are moving. Skype's numbers are moving. Amy, are your numbers moving? Oh, hold on. No. Nope. Do the numbers hold on. move for you? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So, so are we, we going to see this? <laughs> if, if you just hear a lot of banging around, that Johnny just opened a drawer in the desk and so everything <laughs> just was like, like it's going to make a lot of noise. Drum section, <laughs> thank you, in. thank you for your subtlety, Johnny. <laughs> he was trying to be subtle. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Elbows, elbows, elbows. If you are into elbows, then Elbow Magazine is the one for you, featuring. Short-sleeved celebrities rubbing elbows in public. Amateur elbows. Close-ups of weenuses. Elbows gone wild. Capitulum. Trochlea brachialis. The biceps tendon. Ulna tuberosities. Synovium. All your favorites in one glossy magazine. Elbow Magazine. Elbow Magazine. Elbow Magazine. And back to the podcast. Just do it. No, wait a sec. Can we get sponsored by Nike? Did that work? (laughs) (laughs) I often look at you, Sean, and think, Michael Jordan. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) He's rolling in his grave. Is he dead now? Oh, good. No, oh, right. He's okay. still with us. He better not die anytime <laughs> soon or I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this is Amy's clap. <laughs> he held on. He held on till I'd finished. you got to give him that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sean's clap. And this is the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is Alex's clap. Oh, yeah. Manly. That was... Did you hear like four or five then? It went... Yeah. It's like a natural echo or something (laughs) going on there. That's right. That's right. Alex has the multiple clap. When Alex claps, he lays the smack down. (laughs) I was just waiting for a waka, waka, (sighs) waka, and some rapping to start up. Men and their clapping. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Whenever we really get into it, it's quite good. There's one where I was really, really flat, and I was thinking, oh, God, what was up? I know what that that one was. You had a sore back. That's my excuse. I'm on fire (laughs) today. I've had lots of drugs. I'm in my dressing gown. When I was up at Orotunga, it was so fucking cold. It's so cold that I just got used to wearing my dressing gown. And look, I was given this about 10 years ago, and I've never worn it until this year because Amanda wears it. But Uh, now I've I've rested it back. Even cross-dressing in a dressing gown. Oh, it's in Ganesh. Oh, Yes. It's super like, cold in the mornings now. We're taking the kids to school. There's frost everywhere again. It was like three degrees this morning. Oh, Horrible. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to feel anticipatory depression because the oh, days I, are getting longer. Oh, and I think so bad. <laughs> we're like polar opposites. So that's reverse, that reverse seasonal depression. Yeah, I tell Amanda that I've got anti-SAD and she says that's not a thing. And I say, <laughs> it is a thing. It doesn't say anywhere in SAD that uh, it has to be only when it's cold. And it's but I do feel depressed. And I'm making this one up too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a neuroscientist, haven't you heard? Actually, um, I, I had a friend who had the same thing. Uh, you're uh, not the only one. I've met someone uh, else who was uh, really that, that, way. that way. Really. I think, yeah, and it makes sense if you are from stock that is from a cold climate. That would make sense. You would have evolved to deal with the cold, right? That's right. I'm Welsh. I'm uh, I'm Cornish. I'm part Cornish too. Yeah. But I reckon crazy. they were molested by Portuguese pirates, which is why I look yeah. the way I do. They're, they're, historically, they were. That's true. It's <laughs> true. Well, you know, you look quite Welsh though. Welsh are quite dark, aren't quite they? Quite dark. It's why the Catherine Zeta-Jones dark. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at Sean, I think Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah. My dad's Cornish too, and he's had very black hair when he was young. Does that explain your height, Amy? Yeah, I reckon. And one of my mum's family are German, like peasants. They're all short. 
<laughs> I'm sure all around. Carol Lefebvre is always talking about how she wishes she was born in the 19th century. Do you follow her on social media? She does all these kind of posts. She's got her antique furniture and she wears like handmade lace and she just talks all the time about how she wishes. And I'm like, I don't. I'd be blacking your fireplace. Like I would not have had a good life. Mm. Not I'd be right. down yeah. fine, or I'd be a pirate, one or the other. That's right. I would have had 13 children and had some kind of uterus prolapse or something. Like, what are you oh talking about? God. I'd be a priest. That would be just so horrible. I'd be a priest just because that was the only way I could afford so education. Fun. Can you imagine? What? Hang on. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> like, <laughs> not, not that kind of thing. I was thinking about you could God. tell people they're possessed. You're like, you need nexus. <laughs> you can give me money or else I'm going to tax your house. Yeah, I know all your secrets. I did think about being a priest because I'm an atheist but I thought it's a good job <laughs> like it's a sort of performative job and if you if you were kind I of still care you get, a house. There, you, get a, you get a you get a really good house it might be a bit creepy <laughs> yeah it'd be a bit creepy at night because they tend to be near graveyards right a friend of mine who's an atheist studied it did a divinity degree and uh, for the last unit it was a placement in a parish uh, to work with a priest and he explained to them that he was an atheist and that, that if they put him in a parish he would be um, proselytizing atheism and it took years for them to sort it out and they ended up giving him credit for it but he uh, he finally got his divinity degree and he produced business cards which was dial an atheist or <laughs> di- dial a theologian that's right dial a theologian and if you have an existential crisis you know ring this number anytime day or night he, and so what yeah. you call him and you say i don't believe in god and he's like see you saying <laughs> uh, yeah. i'm staring into the abyss <laughs> it's staring back at you mate <laughs> <laughs> what a great gig that would be one nine hundred existential despair <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're all like this all three of us there you go that's why we're so sane this is sean's clap <laughs> this oh, is amy's clap this is Alex's clap. It's never as good the second time. Okay. <laughs> that's what uh, yeah, you tell all the girls. It's, it's such <laughs> a setup. Such a setup. Okay. Do you know, my mum cried in hospital when I was born because my godfather came in and said, pointing at the new baby, which was me, and said, he looks like a monkey. Aww. Mum took that very personally. Well, she must have thought it was true or you wouldn't cry. I know, sure. right? Jesus. That's offensive. Do you know what my mother did? And this came out the other day. My mother, uh, shortly after my birth, she was, like, she was calling the nurse and said, I need help. I need help. I'm not feeling well. Why are you holding a bloody baby? And the nurse had to say, Mrs. Vickery Howe, this is your baby. Oh, <laughs> put him away. Is that why I'm not put feeling well? Is that, is that why I'm not feeling well? <laughs> That's not very maternal. Um, oh, and nothing's ever changed. And nothing's <laughs> ever changed. I'm going to do a clap. You ready? No. <laughs> now we are. Okay. Now. I'm not ready. I'm still not ready. I'm going to do it anyway, sure. I'm almost ready. No, 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 wait, because you'll ruin it. It won't be manly enough. Okay, I'm ready for your manliness. Okay, now, now. Quick, quick, quick. This oh, the moment's clap. gone. It's gone. Clap. And this is Sean's unmanly clap. I oh, know that was good. Your, your hands made Same. contact. And that's for you. That's you know, good. and size doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, on that note, we're going to start talking about failure. <laughs> 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 oh my god and here i am hosting it sorry to cut you off no okay, i'm that's terrible no. at that you've got to slap me because i'm terrible at that um, alex slap Amy. <laughs> through the screen i don't think you can as a boy it's terrible we need electric shocks i did i did threaten to electric shock <laughs> students once i regret that <laughs> Um, I, look, I'm happy. This there is, is no failure, of- though, Alex. There's just succeeding or learning. It's not a Tell that way. to the Titanic, Anyway. There is, a, it's, there is only a learning experience. There's only succeeding downwards. Okay, so who wants to host <laughs> succeeding downwards? Who wants to host the failure episode? Um, I can do that one. Okay, you host failure. He's the only one that doesn't fail at it. Yeah, he just goes. Oh, no, I have so many successful writer here. Jonathan's coming down the stairs. I'm going to ask him to make coffee before I start recording. Alex would like coffee too, Jonathan. I'll have a hot chocolate with oat milk, thanks. Sean will have a hot chocolate. (laughs) And if he says no, slap him. Okay, my numbers are now moving. (laughs) That should be a T-shirt. If we were really famous, think of all the (laughs) T-shirts we could have. My Uh, numbers uh, are moving. The power of the weenus. I don't know. <laughs> the power of the weenus.
<laughs> oh man! All right, shall I start? Have you got a, everyone got their scripts? Do we need to clap before we start? Oh, oh yes! Clapping! Fucking hell! Bloody clapping! All right, this is Amy's clap. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? So, this is Alex's clap. That was manly. It was manly. Thank you. That's another recurring Thank theme in the outtakes, how manly <laughs> Alex's claps are. And well, the deep voices too. He, it's like a Jedi mind trick. <laughs> I am manly. They do say, uh, they don't say that I'm manly. No one says that. No one's ever said that. So I don't think anyone ever will. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's get it together and I'll start. All right. Ready? Amy, um, I know you're a big fan of the romance writers. Oh, fuck. I don't even remember what it stands for. <laughs> What is it stand for? <laughs> like, I'm happy. To, I can just start. If you want. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> I don't even know what it stands for. Uh, Romance oh. Writers of Australia, right? Is yep. that it? Yeah, I just got halfway through Writers and thought, is it? Oh, no. Is it Romance Writers Association? <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. Here we go. The RWA annual conference brings together over 300 writers and industry professionals for four days of professional development workshops. Fuck. <laughs> It is romance, so there may be some of that as well. (laughs) (laughs) I'll cut that out, Uh, of course. (laughs) Otherwise, uh, no, we'll cut it out. Uh, The RWA. (laughs) Sorry, I'm not looking. Okay, please continue. The RWA has the reputation for being like the... uh, The RWA has... (laughs) Fuck! It does, actually. It has a lot of heat. There's some there's some real erotica there. So he's spot on. Ah, uh, okay. The RWA is looking for a range of confident presenters to reflect RWA's commitment to bring diversity and inclusivity. Oh. Hey! Oh, inclusivity is really hard to Just say. Just start again. Inclusivity. inclusivity. It's not inclusive, is it? No, what if that's, you have a lisp? If you have a lisp, you're gone. And you know what? I saw it coming. I was like, diversity, yes, <laughs> inclusivity. Oh. Amy, we'll just cut Alex out. <laughs> yeah. The, the, yeah. The one who's like <laughs> supposed to have studied how to do this as well. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. RWA pays ASA workshop percent to fuck. <laughs> 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 Presenter fuck. <laughs> I don't know what Present that is. <laughs> it is romance, you know. Yeah. <laughs> RWA will escalate during the conference. Okay, go on. Good. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Alex is off dreaming as an alcoholic. He's dreaming he's, about his cocktails. He's dreaming of hey, cocktails uh, and fuck. <laughs> That's what he's dreaming of. Sex on the beach. If there's a bar and a bunch of romance uh, novels. I'm there. Um, the. Uh, R- oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I think this will be better once I edited it, but it is okay. a lot harder, isn't it? Oh, it's as hard the, to, as the as the as, as the heroine said. <laughs> it's hard to slip between like natural and chatty to the I actually is, have information here. It is hard here. to slip between that, Alex. And then and then everything they say <laughs> is an innuendo. <laughs> I feel like a lot like Tim Shaw from those old, uh, you know. <laughs> If you have a presentation, you know. We could try one person doing all that too, hey. (laughs) Needs the punch. You know, if it's all alone, it's not romance. You can't have one person. True. Well, it's still romantic. Now, that's that's not as inclusive as you. (laughs) 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 Okay. If you have a presentation that fits the bill. Oh, oh. Channel Matt Berry. Oh, no. (laughs) Damn these electric sex pants. (laughs) (laughs) Bat. <laughs> but I'm not aroused. <laughs> Hell's teeth. <laughs> okay. Please follow the link in our show notes to the 2021 workshop. Pro- pro- oh, hang on. <laughs> there are too many P's. Workshop proposal. <laughs> it's <laughs> awful, isn't it? I know. And it feels like I get the worst ones of these. <laughs> that wasn't deliberate at uh, all. Okay. He thought you were a professional. The theme for next year's conference is looking forward, looking back. Whether you're a presenter or an author, we look forward to seeing you there. Can we, uh, we might just change it because we're not necessarily going to see them there. I might do another That's read true. where it's RWA looks forward. I know, we might be there. You the never thing. know. We might, uh, we we might, might do a live um, podcast from there. 
Oh, we could pitch that. We could pitch that. Do you that. want to pitch that? I think it'd be fun. We could get conference funding. Okay, I'll leave it. Let's get. Let's go for conference funding and come to RWA. It's when, amazing. When's it on? Uh, August. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I think it'd be great fun. All right, done, done, done. He said unenthusiastically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can claim to not like that phrase anymore, Alex, because you say it every time. Well, I don't know how else to end it. Yeah, Otherwise, it's an uncomfortable silence and you all stare at me <laughs> or I wave or I show the thumbs up and you, you say we're in a not non-visual medium and I feel awkward. Oh, poor Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, though, we don't we don't always end with happy writing. There was a happy researching and a happy juggling in the last two episodes. Well, what's what's the what, what are you going to say on Tinder? Happy happy swiping. Any word I come out with is now going to be good. <laughs> See, I was going to say happy bonking, <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't because that would have oh, been completely inappropriate. Happy dating might have been yeah. more polite. Okay. Happy yeah. bonking. Well, you wouldn't be getting any. You don't even know that a lift home is isn't a lift home. Come up and have coffee, Alex. Oh, it's too late for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the word bonking's not getting you anything. <laughs> Alex needs a dating agent. That's what he needs. <laughs> Sean, shall we do that? I think we could do that. Yeah. We could be a dating agent. An ex-girlfriend of mine said, what is it? When I was very young, this is going way back to when I was a teenager. She goes, what does it take for you to notice, Alex? You're always like, oh, we're just friends. We're just friends. You know, someone's walking around in a G-string and we're just friends. We're just yep. like, what is it? Yep. What does it take? She accidentally touched my penis. It was just <laughs> random for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> With her buttocks. <laughs> um, yes, but, you know, I've been in exactly that same position and I think it's it's good to err on the side of caution because you don't want to go the other way. Well, that's true. That's right. That's absolutely right. You're not the creep. Yes. That's how I justify my ineptitude in <laughs> my former <laughs> dating life. So, God. When I think back to my 20s and 30s, what a disaster it was. People touching your weenus, Sean, and you weren't even responding. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's usually covered because he likes. Co- oh no, it's not covered today. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> full weenus. All right, I'm turning. I'm turning this off before it gets too kinky. Just as it was getting interesting. Anyway, happy Halloween, everyone, from all the word docs. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween and happy birthday, Amy. Go watch a scary movie. Go write a scary story. Don't scare anybody in real life by doing anything horrible. Aww. Or do. See how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> scare your children. I, I, I know a couple that deliberately jump in the wardrobe to scare their children, and that's one of their Aww. bonding activities. That's some kind of abuse, isn't it? <laughs> My dad, when we were when we were little, used to play like really little, like three. He used to play hide and seek when he got home from work. And there were two occasions where he got us. One time, he got up on the freezer, and we were too little to look up, and we thought he'd disappeared. Oh. But the other time, we like go running. We could see that his shoes sticking out from behind the curtain, and we went running up and pulled the curtains back, and there was just his shoes, not him. Oh. And I thought he disappeared. <laughs> I like freaked out. He couldn't oh. calm me down for ages. <laughs> So really, kids, suckers, <laughs> get kids so easily. <laughs> get wise, kids. <laughs>